I'm Jeff Fritz with Soundstage.com, and I'm joined today by Chris Shaw, who is a product specialist with Focal Name America, and we're going to talk a bit about Focal loudspeakers today. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, and yourself, Jeff? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Appreciate you asking. So yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about Focal loudspeakers today, and specifically, you know, I, I did a little bit of research before our phone call, and you guys are making use of flax in loudspeaker cones, which to me, at least to my knowledge, is fairly unique. And I know it's been around for a little while, but I'm seeing it in more and more, not only the home products, but the professional products, the auto sound products. Tell us a little bit about flax as it applies to loudspeakers. Um, so flax is a, is a technology that we, that we re released in, in around 2013, 2014. And as you mentioned, is that um, you know we, we utilize a lot of our technologies across all of our vertical channels again in the the home audio uh, the pro audio the automotive audio and also our custom custom integration product as well um, so why you know uh, we, we get this question a lot why flax or what is flax um, and we'll, we'll start kind of back in around 2010 when we started developing the technology is that we wanted to look at an, uh, an organic product uh, to build new speaker or have new speaker technology, and we we looked around the world. We uh, we played with a lot of different things. You know, we even uh, we even played around with woven palm leaves as an example, okay. um, and ultimately we we stumbled across flax uh, because it really had uh, the three key properties that we were looking. You know, it was uh, it was a material that was very strong. Um, you know, it has a very similar molecular structure to Kevlar, or to uh, Kevlar. <clears throat> um, it has um, a lot of. Um, it is very light because it's a hollow material. And the last one is that because it's a natural material, it was very high in damping, so it it really fit the build of of the three key features that we really need to build a, a proper speaker. Okay, and you've been really happy, I guess, Focal, with the performance of of flax in your speakers. Oh, it's it's absolutely phen uh, phenomenal. Um, the fact is is that it, um, you know it's it's a it's a raw material uh, that we're able to source out of out of northern France. Um, and again, because of those three key features, is that we now have a very cost effective, uh, high performing um, raw material to do okay. exactly what we needed to do. Now, like I said, I, I'm somewhat familiar with the use of flax in your loudspeakers you know, having seen, you know, a number of models, but, you know, I do understand also that there's a new material that you guys introduced in the Cora loudspeakers, and that is the slate fiber material, and I, if I'm not mistaken, that's also used for mid-range and woofer cones. What's the, what's the difference? What's slate fiber all about? Can you tell us a little bit about that? All right, well, um, uh, slate fiber is our newest cone technology. Um, what this is again, we, we've we've got over four years of R and D development on this new cone, and there's there's some very unique things. First, uh, first and foremost is that we're the only company in the world that has actually specifically developed a new cone technology for our quote unquote entry level product. Um, so you know where everybody else is using the polypropylene, we have actually developed a new cone technology. Um, but what is slate fiber? Uh, I will start with there is no slate in it. It is just okay. actually the color <laughs> of the cone. Um, but what it is, it is a, uh, n a recycled, uh, non-woven, orientated carbon fiber encapsulated in a uh, thermoplastic polymer. So it's a lot of words. Uh, so we'll kind of break it down. Uh, we'll start with the non-woven uh, carbon fiber. The fact is, is that we unweave carbon fiber to get rid of some of the resonant frequencies of a woven carbon fiber. And by us doing this, is that we obviously lose the resonant or get rid of those resonant frequencies, which again um, makes it a better sounding cone. But we we actually lose rigidity or strength. And so what we do is that we've got a patented technology that allows us to orientate all those carbon fibers into one into one direction. And by doing this is that we're able to uh, regain that rigidity. And then once we have done all that, we encapsulate that into a thermoplastic polymer that adds all the additional damping that's required. Okay, okay. So so slate fiber, now I think I heard you say that the core models are the entry level product. So this is actually a new a new technology that you developed I mean, obviously, there's there's cost constraints there being an entry level 
loudspeaker model, but this is something that you develop specifically for the core models. Is that correct? Uh, currently, um, but uh, uh, currently we have Slate Fiber in, in all of our core products. Um, with this is that we, we now have our entire uh, home audio or, or floor standing speaker lineup being built in France, which is, uh, which is again, one thing that we're very proud of, of, of the made in France uh, application with our products. Um, you know, I foresee potentially in the future that we will see this technology, to, you know, being used in other uh, vertical channels within the company as well. Okay, so so Slate Fiber and Flax, we'll, we'll continue to see both of those technologies used in the loudspeakers? Currently, yes. Yeah, like I said, uh, uh, both are, are, you know, we, we invest a lot of, uh, a lot of R&D. As, I'm, as I mentioned, you know, we had four years into the Slate Fiber cone technology alone. And, and roughly about the same for flax. So again, we, we invest a lot of time on the R&D side so that we get a lot of long, uh, longevity out of, out of the sandwich cone technology that we're building. So what can you tell me about the Cora loudspeakers? Can you give me just kind of your, your, uh, your quick take on the, the loudspeaker range and you know, what, what are your thoughts on it? So um, our, our core de- our core series uh, again is our newest series. We launched uh, three models back in September of 2019. Um, with that is that we uh, we we finalized or finished the rest of the, <clears throat> the range um, of the core line in uh, in January this year in 2020. Um, so in September we launched three models. We launched um, you know uh, a two way, a two and a half way, and a three way all floor standing units. Um, in, or in January, we, we finished the series with a uh, center channel, uh, surround speakers, subwoofer that is, that is to release here on uh, May, June this year. And, and the most popular one is our new Core A26D. This is actually a Dolby Atmos enabled speaker where we have patented a new uh, technology on, on to basically where we've placed a speaker on top of the, of the tower to give okay. us the Atmos effect. But we've paired that with our new uh, patented uh, augmented directivity technology, which basically it basically laser beams the the full range five inch driver to the ceiling, and only once it hits the ceiling does it disperse, as if we had a ceiling speaker, so that we get the a, a really true uh, Atmos effect out of this. So you get the 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 benefit of Atmos without installing a center speaker, is what you're or a ceiling speaker, is what you're saying. Correct. That, and that's correct. And uh, and again, the idea behind this is that you know we have a lot of applications where um, you're not able to cut um, you know holes into the ceiling. Maybe you're renting. Uh, maybe it's a condo. Maybe you know maybe you're just physically not able to place it uh, or even run wires. So this gives you the Atmos effect without having to do that. And uh, just so that the the viewers uh, know, Soundstage just got in recently. I think within the past week, week and a half a full Atmos enabled uh, Cora home theater speaker system for review. So you'll be reading about that on our Soundstage Access site here in the next month or so. Well, Chris, I appreciate all the information. Can you tell us uh, before we wrap up a favorite le- recent listening experience, something maybe during the lockdown uh, that you've really enjoyed listening to or maybe oh, even man. something there at uh, the factory? <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, um, obviously with the, with this lockdown, we've we've all had a little bit of extra time on our hands here. Uh, myself, I'm a, I'm a car guy. I you know I've, I'm car audio guy for years and years and years. And and with that is that, uh, you know, I, uh, I I utilize all Focal car audio product, Utopia, the new Utopia M. So I get to spend a lot of time in my vehicle, uh, especially when we're not allowed to talk to anybody else. So it, <laughs> you know. Um, it allows me to have that time, but when I'm not in my vehicle, then again, I get to, you know, to, uh, to listen to the, the core setup that I have as well with the full Atmos. So you, it, you can't talk about your, your car system without telling us what kind of car you, you have that system installed in. Oh, um, well, I've got a, I've got a 2010 Audi A4 or A5, sorry. Okay. Uh, and again, it's all Focal Utopia I'm in, in the, in the vehicle and it's, uh, it, it ultimately builds a, Builds a concert inside a vehicle. It's uh, it's one of those things that you have to experience. You know, I've built a lot of stereos in, uh, you know, over the course of 20, 25, 30 years, and uh, I'll tell you, this is probably one of the only systems that I get into every day and and, and think, wow, this is this is unbelievable. 
Yeah, and you know, some of the uh, some of the viewers might not even realize that there's a utopia level auto sound system, and that's uh, you know, I bet that's uh, I bet that is quite something. Is that did it, does that comprise tweeters, mid ranges, subwoofers, everything? Yeah, so I mean, Utopia M was uh, was developed. It was released in 2018, um, and it was based on a a la carte application um, where you can mix and match. You know, we build uh, a 10 inch subwoofer, 8 inch mid bass, three and uh, six and a half inch mid range, three inch mid range, and a beryllium tweeter. And so you can use a combination of any of those, whether it be you know um, a three way um, six three tweet, eight three tweet, or you can do a two way you know six and tweeter three and tweeter, eight and tweeter, and then add the subwoofer as need be. And, uh, you know, it, it's got some of our latest cone technology uh, or profiles with our new Utopia with the M-profile domes. So all of the speakers themselves um, have an M-profile shape with new voice calls, new motor structures. Um, and in case, uh, of course, you, we have the Brilliant tweeter, uh, which we utilize in across all platforms, whether it be car, pro, home, uh, CI or a custom install, and also our, our high-end headphones. We use Brilliant as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, Chris, thank you so much for joining me today and, you know, filling everybody in on the latest in uh, Focal loudspeaker technology, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Well, thank you for having me and you as well. Thank you. Okay.